<laughs> Hello and welcome to the Nerd Age Podcast. This is a show where four dudes talk nerdy to each other. My name is Jonah and I am joined by my buddy, Corey. Yeah, what's up? And Josh. Ooh, what's up? I said four dudes. Mick's not here, unfortunately, but he'll be back next week for sure. We're going to jump in to Loki. Loki came out. Uh, we've been talking about Ahsoka a lot. We didn't get a chance to watch Loki. Josh and I were able to watch episodes one and two of Loki. Corey, unfortunately, wasn't able to. Yeah. But we're going to talk about it anyways, and then uh, we'll just kind of uh, see where else the show goes to. So, uh, Josh, you saw both episodes. What did you think of Loki season two so far? Uh, so far, I think it's a good start. Uh, I'm kind of reluctant or hesitant saying that because I feel like I've said that with every Marvel show. <laughs> And I'm like, oh, yeah. Like, they start yeah, well. This is interesting. Yeah. There's some th- things that I'm interested in, and then they just fall off a cliff. <laughs> uh, but I think the strongest thing about this season, or I guess these two episodes, is I really like Loki. Yeah. Which is a good thing for the you yeah, know, you better. The show's named Loki. Yeah. You better like the main Well, which character. one? Which Loki? <laughs> which variant of it? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and then Owen Wilson is really good. Yeah, I agree. Um, I like their dynamic is good. Um, and then, uh, yeah, I, I, I think it's a, a good intro, uh, to the, to the series. I, I think one of the biggest things that's, I, it's not landing for me is the fact that we just saw, um, Kang in Ant-Man okay. and it was like, you know what I mean? Yeah. It yeah. wasn't very like impressive. Yeah. So the way they're building he who remains in this show is like, he's, he's a, coming. he's the big bad man. And it's it's a cool build up, but then I think it's undercut by what we've seen in Ant Man, unfortunately. Well, we saw the stadium full of them going, ah, yeah, did ah. <laughs> that one, yeah, yeah. Wait, so are so is the one that was the main one in Quantumanium? That's the one they're talking about. So not necessarily. Okay. So they're talking about his variants are coming, right? But uh, the the one, what did they say? He, he who remains was yeah. the guy in Loki sees at the end of yeah, Loki. He season was the one, one that where well, he was, was saying there. like. I'm doing this because the other ones are terrible. Right. Oh, okay. And the one they so banished, just, yeah, that, yeah, that one. was he was the one in Ant Man oh, that right, they're right, like, right. this guy is so bad that yeah. we got to banish him. So right. and he That's got probably, defeated by ants. Yeah. So, but it, I mean, it, it was a lot of ants though. Yeah, and they but, were big ants. True. Well, technically yeah. small ants, but you know what I mean. <laughs> so the threat <laughs> remains, and they make that evident early on. Yes. Okay. So from the get go. Um, there's like statues of him everywhere right. yeah. and he's and Loki's like getting right, cuz that's how they ended last right so now season. when he's he's there he's jumping in the past and the future like right. he keeps jumping yeah. and there's like when he jumps into the future i guess it is um you find out it's the future he's seeing all this stuff like no one knows who he is and the statues of him and all this kind of stuff so he's like dude this guy's bad news cuz we thought we yeah, we fixed it, but no. So, um, yeah, it's I I do like the build up, but you're right; it does kind of seem like it's undercut by, um, mm-hmm. by what we saw in Ant Man. And the other thing is, this show. I agree with you about. Um, I like Loki. I think Owen Wilson is awesome. Their dynamic is much better. I really like that they jumped right back into it. I thought yeah. we were gonna have like yeah. three or four episodes where it's like. Hey, we have to figure out who who you are, kind of thing again. No, and they jumped right into it, which was good. Um, I really like um Obi, who is a uh, short round. Um, if you've watched him, Ki- Ki- Kwan. <laughs> if you've watched Ki- Indiana Jones, I think I, saw I think some shots of him. Yeah. He is awesome, and I I just love him in everything. But he's great in the show. But yeah, I the other thing that just rubs me the wrong way, and I know you mentioned this. Um, I think last week when it was either Kevin Feige or someone said like, don't take it too seriously or something like that. But it's hard not to when there's like this massive, like the plot of this whole thing is like, first of all, in season one, it was like no one had any free will in the Marvel universe. It was all controlled by the guy at the end of time. So that's a pretty big thing to then be like, ah, forget that. But then in this one, it's kind of like all these branches, all these timelines are getting um, pruned so getting destroyed now. And then it's like, how, what is, what is going on here? It's so all over the place. And like, we're going to the future. We're going to the past. We're going to this different timeline. We're doing all this kind of stuff that just seems so big okay. that it's hard for me to not think bigger stakes. Does that make sense? If it's just like, 
how does that all connect? How does it all make sense? Anyways, it's it's kind of one what you talked about why you hate time travel because yeah. it just opens up so many stuff. I feel like this has the same aspect to it where I'm like, she's in the 80s. What timeline is she in? You know, guys are jumping into other stuff. It's it's kind of just all over the place. Was it cool? Like was the rule of cool like the driving force here? Just because they can do it and it's awesome, that's a cool idea. Is that like a driving force on their decisions for that? Do you think? No, I think there's, I think there's, they're t- trying to tell a story. So again, two episodes in, I think there's more to tell. Cause you guys basically watched the hook of the, the series with the first two episodes. Yeah. yeah. So the hook was, did you, did you buy into the hook for the whole story? Like, like, I don't know hook- if they've really established it yet. Really? Because, so he's Isn't- looking, he's looking for Sylvie. Yeah. Cause he's like, well, we need to find out. And because he's gotten information when he jumped to the future, he got some information about the TVA. Yeah. And then they're also, they're realizing that Miss Minutes, the clock thing, is working with yeah. um, He Who Remains. So now they're trying to figure out how to, like, the whole universe is going to be destroyed unless they figure out how to stop the yeah. timelines from spreading. Like, right. Right. this whole thing. So, and then you have people in the TVA who are pruning the timelines and they're, they're the group, Loki and their other people are the ones that they're like, these are actually people. Like they lied to us. You're murdering people. So there's a, right. So that's kind of what we've gotten so far, but it, to me, it just seems so massive. It's just like, yeah. It, yeah. So that, that's the tough thing for me watching it is like, how am I supposed to not take this too seriously when it, there's kind of big implications to it. Um, but it's just kind of interesting. Yeah. I mean, I, I don't know if I heard that from Kevin Feige, or like that Kevin Feige. Maybe no, it was, it like, was, it was about the, uh, Marvel. It was literally the Marvel's trailer oh, okay. where it oh. was a line she said. And I just thought it was funny because yeah. yeah Cause it's supposed to be a goofy movie. Yeah. So right. it wasn't about the Loki stuff. <laughs> does that change? Does that change your entire opinion? But let's be honest. That's what you were they don't want you to take uh, it seriously. Now I can take it seriously, <laughs> and that's what I've been doing. Dang, that line was saving their butt. <laughs> uh, <laughs> negative two. <laughs> yeah, I think I think uh, you said you didn't buy into even Loki season one. Right? Was the fact that like everything was connected in this way? And right. They made that, they made that premise didn't work yes. for you. Uh, I think for me, uh, you know, whatever. I, I don't take it too seriously. You know. What I yeah, mean? So you're a Marvel. It was fun. Chill, yeah, as they yeah, say. Exactly. Right. <laughs> but, uh, I, you I, eat what they feed you. I think for me, the setup, <laughs> it worked for me. Cool. Like, I'm interested to see. I do like what they did with the time travel, with him going back, and then basically him having that conversation with OB. That was cool. That was really cool. So you know how they always do the, with time travel, they're always like, oh, well, it hasn't happened yet, so you don't remember it. And then they're like, well... If it did happen, then you would remember it. They basically right. do that in real time. Uh-huh. So they're having a conversation with oh, with Obi, and they're like, "He's like, I don't remember anything." Oh like, my gosh! And yeah. So, and then he's and then he, he goes get, back, uh-huh. and then he's like, "You really don't remember any of this?" And he's telling him in the past, like, "Oh hey, my name's Loki. I'm from the I'm from the future." And he's like, "Ah, uh, that's hard to believe or whatever." And then he they go back to the future. And that, and he starts remember. He's like, "Oh, I, I'm sorry." He starts remembering things. So like, Owen Wilson is talking to so him in he the would future. Say, hey, you remember when I brought up that thing back in? Yeah, like back yeah. in so, the past. So, but to the future guy. Yeah, I hate this crap. But yeah, okay, yeah. go ahead. But yeah. that so okay. they're yeah. Loki get gets it. sent while they're talking yeah, yeah, to him. Yeah. yeah, and so it's going. They're having a conversation at the exact yeah, same it's time. It's a way to make him understand in the past. But okay. does that does that make sense though? What do you mean? Well, because <laughs> Owen, this well, is what I thought. Time travel. So no, 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 but. So don't think about it. Up to that, <laughs> up to that point, Loki's like thinks he's in the past, right? And then at the end of the episode, it's revealed that he's actually in the future. Not all the time. Okay, so he, he was, conveniently he was, got sent to the past before, and then at the end, he got sent to the future. Right, because okay. I don't think it's consistent every either which way. It's just he happened to notice. Oh, I'm in the future because Owen Wilson had yeah. written the thing okay. on the. Yeah. And and before he was Plot sent to the past and he didn't realize, like, that's why they didn't remember him because he had got sent to the past. Right. Now, when he goes to the past, is there no, like, physical, like, clues to, like, oh, it's older clothes or it's in... No, because he's no, in the TVA. Yeah. So that's one of the problems or one of the awesome things about Back to the Future is that they have so many visual yeah. clues and they lay it out. 
Marty, we're going to do this. And you know what I mean? And they like lay yeah. it out and it's so easy to comprehend. Yeah. Well, I, so I don't think, cause it just happens in the first episode and that's kind okay. of like the, what the problem is. Like, like he's oh. got to figure out a way to stop jumping into different times. So they do it on purpose where you don't know where he's at because yeah, he doesn't know where he's at. Okay. So, um, it's just, I don't want you to think like, it's like, this the whole, whole big show, thing. It's yeah. just kind of like that's they have to figure yeah. out how to stop him from doing that. And that's the gist of the first episode. And they do the writing is smart because they do let you they give you visual clues of like, oh, this is how you know now that you were in the past. Okay. So they do it with um I mean, we're in we're going into spoilers, so whatever. But uh basically this thing crashes and, and cracks the the logo on the ground. Okay. And so there's a crack in there. So when it's not cracked, right. You know and that so it's, then he okay. goes to the future and he's like was that always like that? And so then you know, oh, that that happened in the past, and now we're in the present where they recognize him. Right. And so he's that's yeah. how he kind of realizes. So gotcha. they do a couple things like that. Um, yeah, that's I good. would say they they write it into basically like have you figured out like <laughs> yeah, oh yeah, it's yeah. like a visual yeah. clue instead yeah. of be, without you know them explicitly just straight up telling you. Uh, so I think that they do a they do a good job of it. I think uh, as as far as time yeah. travel goes, okay. um, to kind of explain that. Mm. Um, but yeah, so that's pretty much the first episode is like kind of the setup. Um, and then they're trying to find Sylvie is how it ends up. Uh, and in the second episode, there's basically this guy that's go- gone rogue essentially. And he's living in an old time, an old timeline. So he's like, I'm part of the TVA. So I'm going to just, he's basically like a, he's an actor. Basically he has a movie basically like in the seventies, I think it is 77. Yeah. Um, so yeah, they're trying to go back and you know trying to find out uh, he knows where Sylvie is somehow. So they're trying to get that from him. Um, I thought the the beginning scene was cool because it was uh, a little bit more of like time cop. Uh, yeah, that we t- what we talked about yeah. before of like oh we wanted to see Owen Wilson and yeah, like uh, time detective going through time yeah. and being detective. So it's kind of part of that, and you get to see Loki actually use his powers, which I know you were like. I thought he couldn't use his powers. And I'm like, no, he can use his powers. They just never use them. I thought that was a reason he couldn't. Uh, In season one, I thought they said there was a reason he couldn't. In this episode, out of nowhere, because even in the first episode, he's running around and he's not like he's, they're trying to stop him. And he's like not doing any of his, like they're trying to prune him and he's like just running and he's like doing all this stuff and like grabs the guy and throws him and jumps through a window and all this crazy stuff. And then, Episode two starts and he's there and the guy's like trying to run away from him. And he just goes and like he shoots, st- shoots, like a, yeah, shoots the guy and then and oh. then he's running. And then a bunch of guys are like trying to beat him up. And it, you realize that Loki like made all those guys appear. Yeah. And then he makes three of no, them. I appear, thought there was a reason why he couldn't use. And he powers. grabs them with the shadows. And I was like, when did what? So that was a little that threw me off because why? Are we I don't want to go back to watch Loki <laughs> season one to find out. But I. It's I'm a little pre- irritating to me I that he hasn't you. used it. And then all of a sudden in episode two, oh, yeah. it's like... Because they had that fight on that train and stuff. Like, he could have been using his powers during was that. Was he using his powers in that one? Was he? I thought she was the one who had to kind of carry it because she had the powers. I don't know. That's I thought question. she... That's what I... Yeah. That's what I remember. She had the power yeah, and, and she could was like... like kind of helpless. And that's why he would be like, hey, you can read my... You can Dang look it. into my mind and stuff. I forgot no, to look back into it. Dang it. Um, Gosh, but well, see, that, someone so will tell us if we're wrong. Yeah, oh, for sure. That's a huge plot point, though, because I'm just assuming... Like, unless I just completely forgot that there sh- was something that happened that changed that he can use, use his powers now. The weird thing is, is that I, that sounds yeah. like what I, I that kind of sounds familiar. That's so weird. I don't know. We'll have to check it's into possible. it. It's possible. It's even not consistent though with the first episode where he's running away and he's scared and I'm like, you should use your powers. Yeah. Cause his powers are honestly kind of overpowered. Yeah. He's, he's a God. Yeah, he's a god. And yep. it's like, that's kind of what I want to see out of him. It's like, why would you would just want to see like Loki not yeah. have powers? So I thought that was cool. Or the other thing, he's interrogating a dude, right? Yeah. In episode two. And so he has to bring in a machine to like force the guy like into Can a little square. Can he not use powers in the TVA? Is that what it oh, is? is that, that oh, might be that it. might be it. Because remember, oh, the, that makes sense. The power stone and stuff like that. They don't yeah, do anything. That's it. Okay. That's okay. That is. was it then. So yeah. since they were in back in time on yeah, Earth in the sacred yeah. timeline, they could, yeah, because yeah, all the stuff that's couldn't it. work. They're like, oh yeah, it's like 
Yeah, paperweights. Hey, but we, he could have used ta- he could have used it on the train though because they were in the TVA yeah. at that point. Mm. Anyway, well, figured it out. Well, yeah, guys. Solved. Hey, that's what happens they when, you, when wrong. you talk. <laughs> Let's just talk it out when guys. you talk it out, guys. I love that. Um, but yeah, I mean, so and then episode two ends with them finding the group of people that are um, basically bombing right timelines. the timelines, and at the end of the episode, all the branches. That were on the screen. There's now just one. Oh, okay. There's like a couple. I think. There's like one. That's one big one. Right. And then a bunch of blown up ones. Yeah. So um, I, I thought that was interesting that you have this kind of like almost different factions within yeah. the TVA that are like, we can do whatever we want now. So we need to bomb these different, prune these different timelines. Uh, so I thought that was kind of an interesting dynamic to introduce. Um, but yeah, it seems uh, we got it right, guys. Boom. Nice. nice. Look at that. We did it. Yep. Nice job. Um, interesting. There's because there's been set picks from Deadpool three. Um, and they're saying, is this because one of the sets is Hugh You're Jackman as Wolverine. Yeah. And he has the um, old Wolverine suit on and Deadpool. But where they're fighting, there's a 20th Century Fox mm. um, like sign mm. like in the in the background, just like destroyed, kind of like Planet of the Apes, um, yeah, you yeah. know, Statue of Liberty. And so they're like, did they just blow up one of the timelines? And that's where the Deadpool movie is taking place. It's like a blown up timeline <laughs> or be pretty half pruned. That and they'd be, be like, and that way they could connect. Be like, oh, this is the 20th Century Fox back when they owned <laughs> yeah. X-Men and it was sold off to Disney yeah. like that would be kind that of interesting. A, that would be a if they, funny if they like, did it that way. way to do it. And that would totally happen in Deadpool's. Yes. Movie. And that makes sense to do it that in that is. movie. Yeah. Um, but anyways, so yeah, it was, it oh. was kind of interesting. I, I, I've enjoyed both episodes. Um, oh. I think what, like going back to what we said, the best part of it, I think is the dynamic between the Owen characters Wilson, yeah. and Owen Wilson and Obi and, and all that kind of stuff. And Loki. And I don't mind Sylvie. I think she's pretty good. Yeah. Um, we kind of got her just a little bit in this episode, but I think that's the best part. Again, if I don't think about it too hard to be like, right. how does this fit? Yeah. It's kind of like, okay, let me just watch. Cause I do think, um, it's pretty good. The one scene that I really didn't like was when they're eating the key lime pie. Yeah. And then he's like, remember when I, um, got angry and I went to New York and I got an army of people and then, yeah, you know, and he basically walks through like what happened in the movie and he's like, and then I tried to, you know, use the mind stone on Tony Stark and I got angry. So I threw him off a building, you know, kind of like right. uh, that to me felt like it was a little too far for you. Well, just too, it, it yeah. wasn't clever. It was just kind of like, okay, this, I don't know. That was just, that's probably the, okay. my biggest complaint. Yeah. yeah. The, I the was joke big missed the mark for you. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I, I do think the humor has been decent. Yeah. There, there haven't been any that I'm like, Oh, that's, over the top cheesy or anything like that. Well, Which, anytime you have Owen Wilson do, delivering yeah. his lines, it's like, yeah, yeah he's pretty fits. great. Like, yeah. Way like, more believable. Oh, ski. I like when the dude's like, yeah, are you an actor? And he's like, no, nah, I'm not an actor. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's pretty good. Uh, yeah. Owen Wilson's the man. Yeah. I, I will say the other thing I enjoy about the show is I like the way it looks. It's, yeah. u- it's unique. Uh, most Marvel things kind of just blend together. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like they don't have a style or they don't have a, certain aesthetic it's all just pretty like oh cgi everything uh shiny lights whatever yeah but this has like a s- specific style i think this uh the shots are pretty good uh like there's some pretty cool shots with reflections on the off the ground and the hallways and stuff like that so i think it's it's interesting to watch not just yeah. um story-wise but visually what they're doing with the camera work and stuff like that uh, so I think that's another positive for the show instead of it just being kind of like and the, and the people, characters, they f- seem to fit naturally in the environment that they've created for them. Yeah. In the scenes. OK, that's good. Because, yeah, I, I, from the screenshots I've seen, they look really oversaturated, like really like really bright colors. Um, but maybe it was just the few shots that I saw. It was it was of a uh, short round holding some items up. Mm. And oh, yeah. And there's very saturated. So I was like, oh, interesting. That kind of just stood out to me. But I'm glad it's all fits together really well. It's great. Yeah. I'll have to, I'll have to catch up. I almost watched it. Sorry, guys. <laughs> we didn't coordinate it. Well, let's yeah. do it next week. You yeah, know? yeah, yeah. Yeah, next week we'll continue talking about episode three. Yeah. Um, do we know how many episodes there are going to be? 
I don't know. I assume they always do like, six to eight, right? They yeah, do eight. Oh, okay. six to eight. Yeah. So yeah. I don't know. Um, but yeah, we're going to just move on to kind of some, uh, random news, um, a, an assortment of news. Um, we'll yeah. stay in the Marvel universe because, uh, a few things dropped during the week that I thought was, would be interesting to talk about. The first thing was that, uh, Daredevil Reborn, is that what it's called? Yeah. Um, they are, it's getting reborn <laughs> again. Apparently they watched <laughs> Bo- it. Reborn again. Watched how much they had. And that they thought it was really boring and it wasn't working. Whoa. And so they're going back. They fired the writers that were working on it and yeah. are starting over. Yeah. Um, which is pretty nuts. Did they shoot everything? Well, yeah, because they it, watched it. Yeah. I don't know. Is everything done? Well, I, you, you can <coughs> watch it without CGI and right. stuff like that. Well, yeah, I don't yeah. know if but, they finished. I don't think it was no, completely no. finished, yeah, but I yeah, think right. like the... I mean, they, the bones were there. Yeah, like it was the there, main, the and they part. ended up firing the people that were doing it. They're changing the way because how they've Jeez. done it is they've just had into like writers come in and do their thing, and then the directors do it. And now they're like they're going back to hey, we're going to hire a showrunner for our Marvel for our Marvel TV shows because they don't have showrunners. Yeah, and so they're like we're actually going to get a person that's in charge of all the TV stuff who's going to hire a showrunner. Oh, yeah. They're going to be in charge of it. so they're they're revamping how they're doing it because i think a lot of people have been burned by the quality of the marvel tv shows sure um so apparently they're going back to the drawing board on daredevil what do you guys think um were you guys excited for the show i know a lot of people love the original daredevil netflix show they say that's probably the best one um but what 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 are you guys thoughts on this whole thing uh so i think it's a good thing that they're restarting because everyone's going to compare it to that Netflix. Yeah. The Netflix series. Uh, and from what I think IGN said that, um, Matt Murdock didn't even put on the daredevil suit until episode four. Ooh. So, and that it was more okay. of a law procedural. Uh, so that, that was my one question was, so that's dun, what, dun. what do they mean by boring? That's boring they, could be actually really interesting. So they, what they, what IGN said, I think it's from the Hollywood Reporter, is the original report, is that uh, they, it was more styled like a, uh, like a law procedural, like oh almost like gosh. law and order. Which oh is my like, which word! Which is weird to me that you dun, would dun. go that route when uh, She Hulk already kind of is doing that or did that. Yeah, but kind of in a more of a goofy way. Well, yeah, but it yeah. it just seems <laughs> kind of like it out of touch, I guess. Yeah, and so. And then obviously you're just going to have people compare this to like, you're just going to compare it to the Netflix yeah. Daredevil show and be like, yeah. what, what are you doing? Yeah. Uh, so I think it's a good thing that they're restarting and kind of, hopefully they'll get it closer to what the original or the Daredevil Netflix show is. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I think it's a good thing. Uh, it's kind of crazy that, yeah, that it's like this late in the game and they're like, uh, yeah, we're going to scrap everything. So <laughs> Uh, kind of crazy. I'm I'm interested to see what happens. Uh, I wonder who made the decision on that because that is a crazy decision. Yeah, it's like all the writers are you know on hiatus because of the strikes, and they're like, you know, I was thinking while we were on vacation, <laughs> maybe we should redo that thing. You know, Jeez, like, yeah. dude, that's gonna be so expensive. But I think that it's good that they understand that their qualities may be looked at as lower quality right yeah. now, and so maybe you guys need to be more careful and more purposeful on what you guys do and put out there for the TV stuff. Yeah. So I think it's overall good. Yeah. Especially if he's not putting on the suit until episode four. That's crazy. (laughs) Well, to me, it's like, again, I don't, we talked, we've kind of mentioned, I guess there's not huge fan base for the TV shows. I feel like a lot of people have, it started off with like, Oh my gosh, we're going to get Disney plus shows of the Marvel universe. And it kind of has gotten to a point where people are like, Man, these ha- these haven't been very good. Um, so, at what point do like? I guess is there a real desire for people to see a Daredevil Disney Plus show? Like, are people going to get subscriptions to watch a Daredevil show? Mm. Is that that to me is a weird thing because I'm like a lot of people love the Netflix show, and then when it was when Disney took it over and got all the rights to do it, people right. were like disappointed. And I don't think there was a huge pop because he was in She-Hulk. Yeah. Right? So I don't know. It's a weird thing to me. It's like, hmm. is this worth spending the money? I think they have to do it now. But if they're reshooting it, like, 
Now yeah. you're spending a ton well, of money for it. And he was in it. Spider-Man as well. Right. So he's already tied in. Yeah. So it's just kind of an interesting... I think it's worth it. I think there is a lot of hype behind the character. People love him. Yeah. So I think, yes, it's a no-brainer to do it. But you got to do it right. So that's right. the concern. But Because I remember being in the theaters and people being stoked. Seeing him in uh, which Spider-Man? The third one or second one? Oh, um, no, it was a... Um... No way. No. What is the no. this last one? No way home. No. Homecoming. <laughs> Far from home. No way home. Yeah. Right? No, no way, way home. home. Okay. At the end of that, where he like caught the brick or whatever. Yeah. Like, what? I I remember people being stoked, and I remember right. on Twitter people being excited about it, the potential of him. But I think they're more excited, maybe a movie. <laughs> but, yeah, that's. But it became yeah. a show. So I know that for me personally, that kills the hype a little bit because I know that the shows are lower quality. So maybe yeah. this. Helps mend that negative con- uh, connotation all these shows have. I, I mean, the problem is we're saying that the shows are lower quality, but have the movies really been much better? No, quality? movies haven't been better. Yeah, not but for I, the past what <laughs> five years. Yeah, I, I mean, that. since <laughs> it's been a long time. since Endgame, and right, like, uh, yeah, after Endgame, and, <laughs> yeah, well, Phase whatever. I mean, yeah. you guys like Shang Chi. I did. Spider Man. The Spider Mans are very good. Yeah, but that's. Yeah, that's Sony, uh, no, I, though. Well, I mean, well, in well, conjunction, Marvel, but yes. it's like, yeah, yeah. I mean, let's not give Sony any credit. Well, I'm, I'm Shang, not even Sony yeah. credit. Shang Chi, um, I liked. Yeah, um, but I think other than that, it's been kind of pretty. Yeah, it's been pretty. Yeah, I think most people <clears throat> kind of feel that way too. Of just like, yeah, these movies aren't like must see anymore. I Man, you know what I will say though? The reason why I like Shang Chi is because it was closed off from the rest of the whole yeah, storyline contained there was no intertwined attitude like with everything there's no oh uh, you know thor came in at the end to save him yeah. like yeah bro let them have their own self-contained yeah. situation yeah. and let me enjoy those characters well, well here's a question then speaking about that apparently kevin feige there's rumors that they're going to use secret wars as a way to soft reboot the mcu okay so how so? I don't know. That's just what's come out. They're using Secret Wars as kind of like, hey, we've gotten up to this point, and now we're gonna reboot. So what is to Secret me, it, Wars? it's a weird. To me, it's a weird thing. <laughs> like, what's the definition of a soft reboot? Because this is like that means they're gonna keep some, lose some, right? Yeah, and I maybe, would think they keep Fantastic keep Four, X Men, that kind of stuff. Keep Fantastic Four. No, because I think they're introducing... <laughs> they have been introduced yet. But they will be. Yeah, 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 yeah. At that point, and yeah. the X-Men. So I think they oh, go I that so. route. They've spent so much money on x I think they go that route, and then everything else that has come before, the Daredevils, this, all that kind of stuff. You get rid of completely? It's a well, soft reboot. I think reboot. they get rid of Iron, not Iron Man, but the Iron Girl. Whatever. It's too messy. That uh, that series, Iron that. Heart, yeah, has Iron already Heart. got pushed back to like 2025 or something. Like, yeah. I don't yeah. even think they're going to touch so you that. Think that's on the chopping block, that kind yes. of stuff. So that's what I'm thinking. I think when you do, you say there's too much, yeah. like the Ant-Man's, the, like whatever they decide to do with Kang, I just feel like the old Marvel stuff already has too much strings attached to it, too many complications. Like even the Loki stuff we're talking about, I think mm. you get characters like new X-Men, Fantastic Four, you get young actors. You're like, hey, we're going to do this now. And this is kind of, yeah, we're done with this. And eventually you might want to bring it back, but you just don't need to if it, does that make sense? Cause I just, yeah. or what do you guys think? What, what would you guys think would be the soft reboot that would work for you guys? Yeah, what is a soft reboot? I mean, hard reboot is you erase everything, right? New timeline, new story, everything. You could do Iron Man again. Yeah. Soft reboot, I think means you get some, some redos and some brand news and you get rid of some of the old stuff. So, I mean, I think I thought that's what they were going for anyway, when it came to this like alternate timeline stuff. And then they started introducing, you know, like Dr. Strange and that stuff right. showing like what could have been. I thought that's what they were kind of trying to go for. I don't think they shut down Ironheart, but maybe they, I don't know. Maybe they do. The problem though, with those timelines is that yes, that would have been a way to be like, hey, we're in this new timeline. But what they did was they kind of the, showed these timelines and then brought it back so that they're all intersecting yeah. with the universe. So it just 
it makes it seem like you just made everything bigger with the same universe. Instead of going being like, hey, let's go to this other timeline and start telling stories over here that has nothing to do with this. Right. It seems like they were like, this is all here. Now let's bring it back to where everyone else is. And it just makes everything convoluted. So I think they should have, I think they missed their chance to, uh, you know. Think, what do you think, Josh? Uh, yeah, it's, it's tough because like, I think for me, especially with the X-Men coming in, I'm like, I don't really care about the X-Men interacting with the Avengers. You know what I yeah, mean? Just give like, me that's, not, that's not something I, I need to see. Yeah. So it's like, I'd rather have them separated. So that your idea sounds more appealing to me where it's like, oh, well, we can have the X-Men and the Fantastic Four kind of existing in the same universe and we get rid of the other ones. I don't know whether or not they'll do that. I feel like they've been, I, I feel like it's, uh, they would lose too much money. You know what I mean? They want to yeah. keep all these characters around that you love or at least introduce a different variant of them yeah. if that's what they do. So if they like, um, you know, you were in a different, whatever time gets reset or whatever, and we're in a, in a different, uh, we're in a different time period or whatever. And we have the X-Men, the Fantastic Four, and we have different new variants yeah. of the of the Avengers. I think that's probably what they'll end up doing because they want. We don't like that it's that big, right? But they like that it's that big because they have all these characters that can interact with yeah, each freedom. other yeah. whenever they want. Right, but here's the question: You talk about um, interacting with characters we love. Like, what are the characters that still have a pull? Because I think the biggest one Iron for me Man's is like dead. Tony Stark. Yeah. He's gone. Yeah. You're not going to have um, Captain America. Robert Downey Jr. Captain dead. America is gone. And so to me, it's like you've left the Hulk. new. Maybe people like Hulk. The Hulk, but he's been so inconsistent. I need to see Hulk and Beast hang out together. I need to see Gambit uh, hitting on She-Hulk. That's what I need. Uh, <laughs> but see, that's the thing I'm <laughs> saying. Like, me, me. <laughs> I, I feel like they've like the, the yeah. whole trajectory like tom holland spider-man like he's, yeah, he's in a different realm now though like not not no. realm but his like he's now he's in the in sony york. kind of stuff he's in new york and so it's Allegedly. just well, to me there's that right. to me there's that element where it's like what are the characters that we nick fury like secret invasion was garbage <laughs> yeah and so like what are the characters thor like they screwed thor up people are angry at what they've done with thor even yeah. Um, Hemsworth his, himself his is like his daughter now. Okay, Hemsworth would, himself is like if I'm doing another one, like we got to go back to what we used to do because he yeah. didn't like it. So to me, it's like what are the characters that people want to see? In, I'd, I'd rather them just soft reboot. Give me X Men for the next ten years. I I mean I I like the idea. If I was doing this, I would be like, okay, that's this timeline. Cool. We're gonna start with. Um, not yeah, Deadpool, Wolverine, and this nice. alternate timeline, and we'll build off that timeline, and then maybe down the road, if people really like the idea of this, we can maybe do crossover because you can still yeah. travel. But like, I would love to see them just live on their own in their own little timeline or something like that, yeah. separate. Yeah. Yeah. Because you've already done so much big stuff. You've done time travel. You've done alternate realities. You do like micro whatever quantum manium like there's nothing else yeah. left unturned like it's kind of crazy so i don't know i want them to return back to epic and awesome like big fights and big 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 uh what's that called uh thing like storylines that matter yeah. you know because like when we had um a big giant celestial out of earth and they don't talk about it and it literally changed the freaking how earth is <laughs> It's just in the middle of the ocean. It's like, bro, what are we doing? Yeah. You think we're stupid that we don't notice that you guys haven't even talked about it? We're not even going to address that there's a giant celestial popping out of yeah. this earth. I don't know. It's so, it's a little complicated, I think. Yeah. It's still too complicated for me. Too convoluted. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, Speaking of X-Men, I just wanted to bring this up too, because this was, <laughs> this came out apparently just in talk, talking about like how, ridiculous studios are i was just about to bring this um, okay, well, well, but the they um i can't remember the director of x-men matthew vaughn matthew vaughn he's like going over the script and he's like what is this what is this scene in here he's like i didn't write this what is this going on it was storm goes and like saves kids in africa like there's a drought and she does this whole thing okay. and he's like what is this thing and the and the studio's like well halle berry hasn't sh signed on yet and so this is in here because it's what she wants. 
And then once she signs on, she signs a contract, we'll just get rid of it. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, so, so it was Matthew Vaughn. <laughs> no he, way. <laughs> this was for X-Men 3. That's messed yeah. up, dude. For X-Men 3. Wow. And so he didn't direct X-Men 3 because he said he quit. Because okay. he, he was like, I don't... Yeah, because he said that there was a script that he said, I noticed it was quite a bit larger than the script I'd been looking uh, at. And he was like, what is that? And the executive was like, oh, don't worry about that. You don't have to worry about that. Yeah, Because yeah. we're just basically... Wow. We're going to cut we all just, that stuff. We just threw it in there to have her sign on, and then we're just going to... That's messed <laughs> up. And, yeah, and he was Dude. like, what? Uh, I think his quote was something like, you're going to do that to a Oscar-winning actress? <laughs> like, that's crazy. That's and then he, he And then he quit. Uh, or wow. like, he didn't, he didn't end up directing... Yeah, uh, but yeah, that's pretty wow. crazy. Like, that's like how that's a mess. That's hey, that's executives. It's do showbiz, it. baby. <laughs> Cutthroat, man. Yeah, Jeez, that's I love you, the that's script. How they got me well, on this, that's how they got me on this podcast. <laughs> <laughs> that's how they got you on the podcast. That's right. Um, yeah, <laughs> it's pretty crazy though. I'm I'm excited to see what they do with the X Men because I think that's that's one property that I love. Mm-hmm. And again, I'm a little concerned because it's. Marvel and I haven't been a huge Marvel fan, but I'm willing to give it a shot. But I I really think they need to kind of like go back to original Marvel because I yeah. like I like the original stuff. I like the first Iron Man. I like the second Iron Man. Yeah. First Captain America. All those. Love yeah. the third. The Iron first Man. Thor. Um, I feel like those were good. And then I started getting jaded when I was like, okay, we've we've seen this movie before. I felt they kept making the same movie over and over again. And that's what drove me nuts, Where, especially when the humor started ramping up and you got 80% humor versus, yeah. you know, yeah. t- 20% heart. I, I think what you, the benefit you have for X-Men is that it's called X-Men. You're not going to have like the Wolverine movie, the Gambit movie, and you're not going to have all these like 16 right. movies leading up to them be like, now they're the X-Men. You well, know what I mean? Yeah. And the rumor, there's a rumor going out that, um, so grain of salt but the giant grain of salt we don't know your sources a year ago there was a rumor going out that they were going to change the name of the x-men because x people it said it was good. that was the reason yikes that was going around and then when bob Iger came back in he had interviews where he said we he's like i feel like we've we've messed up and doing this whole culture war kind of stuff. He's like, we need to get back to basics and wow. just do stuff. So that he had an interview saying that that's surprising. So because of that, Good now they're saying that that's, they're keeping the name, which is smart because X-Men fans, you want them to be called X-Men. Um, and we all know that one of the most, probably the most powerful X-Men was a woman. Exactly. So that's <laughs> not even, the, it's not even the case. Yeah. But nothing what the rumor it. is, is that the X-Men movie is not going to have Wolverine in it. Uh-huh. Okay. So th- what they're going to do is they're using Hugh Jackman in the Deadpool kind of stuff, and they'll introduce a group of X Men and tease <laughs> and tease. <That's> what <laughs> I see that. that all the time. That's yeah. crazy, dude. And they'll tease. <laughs> Could have been Wolverine. That wo- that Wolverine is around there because they're like going to do the whole um, what's his adamant? What's his adamantite? Adamantian and all that kind of stuff. That that'll be kind of like a tease that he's around or that they're experimenting on him and then he'll eventually show up oh. when they recast a new Wolverine. Yeah. So they're going to take their time with that, which I think is smart. So you could have an X-Men movie with, you know, introducing Cyclops and Gambit and those characters. And then, you know, in the second one or third one, they that's when Wolverine do, shows up. They need to do Gambit. And, and I was going to say earlier, I think one of the best things about doing X-Men now is that first of all, there's been a lot of time um, since the last ones. And I'll be honest, they didn't do the last ones. Like, they didn't do X-Men justice, in my opinion, like, to the full extent. No. Where I'd be like, Iron Man, they did really well. Like, number one and two, really good. Don't go back to that well yet or whatever. Or maybe never, you know, never go back. But X-Men, it's like, I don't know. They were all right. Some of them were all right. And I enjoyed some of the movies. But, yeah. like, I don't know. I just think there's a lot more potential with X-Men. A lot of untapped potential. So I think they could do a really good job with them. Yeah. But yeah, we'll see. Yeah, huh, we'll interesting. see. Um, That's funny. Yeah, it's it's crazy. Wow. We'll see what Marvel does. Wow. Um, uh, and I guess the the Marvels, the the um, because that's the next movie that's coming out. Yeah. The box office tracking for that is like super low, so people are like this one 
is going to bomb. So they're afraid that that's what Disney's like. Uh, we got to react to this because they said something like 30 million or something opening weekend, which is crazy to there's me. There's nothing else out, which is crazy. So, I know, but like, there's not no like when you see the trailers, is there are people excited for this? We'll see. Let us know what you think in the comments uh, below or where you're listening to this. What your thoughts are on the Marvel TV shows, the recent Marvel movies that have come out. Are you still excited for what Marvel's doing? Um, what do you think a soft reboot means? Anything you want to talk about, let us know. Uh, we'll keep the discussion going. The other thing, speaking of soft reboots, we're now going to go to the DC universe because James Gunn kind of oh. talked about some stuff. Um, this to me is insane that they didn't just do a hard reboot. Like they decided to do this soft reboot and then undercut all the movies that were coming out. So apparently the rumors are James Gunn has said that the, so Gal Gadot, uh, Ben Affleck, Henry Cavill, all the Snyder heroes, Snyder originals, they're done. They're not coming back, but he's keeping peacemaker, Amanda Waller, so certain characters, um, Blue Beetle. Yeah. Certain characters of those will continue on. And then his comment was, um, with Creature Commandos comes out, that's when... The start of the new... It was the start of the thing, which is a... I think is a weird decision, but Creature Commandos is is the first thing from his universe. And then Superman Legacy is the first movie that's going to be like, okay, this is the universe. The weird thing about this is he said... And there'll be some we knew this right yeah. but he said there'll be some characters that will continue in his universe that will have the same story beats from other movies that came out in the past so okay. he's like it'll be similar so he's um, doing like half canon it's weird okay so it just seems confusing at that point to be like what takes place cuz apparently he's saying that what happened in blue beetle isn't the same blue beetle it's going to be the same actor, what? but that movie is not canon to his that's, universe, which doesn't make con- any sense. That's also contrary to what he said before, where he said yeah. that was the first start right. was Blue Beetle. So it's weird. That's confusing. Um, and I frankly don't think his universe is going to get off the ground because they're saying Discovery is going to sell to Universal. Um and so then <laughs> DC is at that point, at that point, Tom Cruise is taking over. No, at that point, hey. I just think at that point, Universal is going to be like, well, does this make any sense? Like, are we going to pay this guy to do something? I don't know. Especially if they sell it before Superman Legacy even drops, which is the rumor that they're going to sell next year. Wow. So to that me, would be nuts. That'd be so sad. It's crazy. Uh, I don't know if it'd be that sad. I'd. I, mean, well, I think what James, I think what James Gunn's doing it's is sad. What's happening to the DC name and the stories yeah. that have been written that are awesome. And the only stuff I really care about DC doing now is the Matt Reeves stuff. Yeah. I like the yeah. Batman stuff. Um, so it's just interesting. What do you guys think of that whole aspect? Um, do you think it's the right decision? Are you guys excited for this kind of stuff or is it confusing to you or what are you guys thoughts? Hmm. Uh, I mean, I think we've talked about it before. It's just like, it just seems like he every other week he comes out with a different tweet or something else to like, yeah. oh, well, actually, this is what's happening now. And it's like very reactionary. He's not yeah. uh, it. It screams of um, uh, basically like um, he's insecure. Mm. It's, it's what it almost feels like. It's like an insecurity of being like, oh, well, uh, this is my first time doing being yeah. head of a company. So I'm going to uh, try and appease everybody. Yeah. And it's like it, it doesn't. Like the fact that you would say like, oh, they're new characters, but the the story beats are going to be the same. So you could base, you know, it's almost like he's saying like you can plug in that old movie, right? And, and it's works. It's the yeah. same. It's the same stuff, but it didn't actually happen. But the right. story beats are the same. Um, so that, yeah, that's weird. And then apparently they're they're saying that next year is when they're going to announce that uh, Jason Momoa is Lobo. Yes. So it's like you have another layer of like. Here's a Snyder actor who's not going to be playing a Snyder character anymore. He's in the DC universe, but he's playing a villain, a Superman villain. And you're like, and he's going to show up in Superman Legacy. So it's just like, what? It's just weird. I I actually have his. Let me read because so that I'm using his words. This is what he posted. Um, someone asked, "You said DC Studios movies and canon start with Superman Legacy. I and many others are still confused." And this is what he commented. Nothing is canon until Creature Commandos next year. 
a sort of aperitif to the DCU, and then a deeper dive into the universe with Superman Legacy. After that, it's a very human drive to want to understand everything all the time. But I think it's okay to be confused on what's happening in the DCU since no one has seen anything from the DCU yet. And then his second comment to that was, and yes, some actors will be playing characters they've played in other stories, and some plot points might be consistent with plot points from the dozens of films, shows, and animated projects that have come from DC in the past. Okay. But nothing is canon until... Creature Commandos oh, and Legacy. That's not actually that bad. He's so, just saying if it happens to match up, right? Yeah. It happens to match up. Yeah. Okay. That's not as bad as I thought. Well, it's still not great, but it just it's weird to me that you'd be like, why keep? Again, this is my whole thing. Is like I don't think there's a huge draw to keep the his Peacemaker crew, like Amanda Waller and that kind of stuff. I don't see where fans are like oh give me creature commandos give me another harley quinn you know movie so he's keeping that kind of stuff that to me is just weird i would just reset especially when you have fan favorites like ben affleck's batman and stuff like that that are in that same universe as the creature commandos and amanda waller and the suicide squad it's weird to me that you keep amanda waller and peacemaker yeah and that when it would be so much easier just to be like, Hey, we're starting fresh. All the ca- actors, yeah, all the characters I, are, you know, I get it. It's I, weird. I get why he's doing it. And you're, you're totally right. I, I'm on the same kind of path. You are, you know, you say he's insecure. Maybe I think he's trying to play safe. Um, I don't think he wants to be the butt of a joke. I think he wants to be the winner. He wants to be the guy who saves DC or, or he just wants to be, he wants to save his own skin. Yeah. So he's going to keep on, he's going to keep hold of those winners that he thinks are winners that were popular. And he's going to get rid of stuff that isn't his. And then he's going to word things like, Oh yeah, blue beetle is going to be the start. Well, actually blue beetle is not going to be yeah. the start because it wasn't as big of a hit as I thought it was going to be. <laughs> so let's go creature commandos. And yeah. then it'll, again, that's not going to do well. He's going to say legacy. For sure. Superman legacy. And then he'll be fired. So, you know, I think he's trying to cover his butt a little bit yeah. with the choices and the words he's using, um, which I don't know. I guess I can't blame him, but just, I wish he had, I th- I wish he was more confident in, in taking risks. Like just do it. If yeah. you if you think it's the best move, just do it. And then let your actions speak for you. Like, I don't know. He talks too much. Dude. Yeah. He's on the internet too much. Yeah. But yeah, I guess we'll see how it goes. Oh my gosh! Yeah, it'll Ugh. be it'll be interesting. I don't even know like the amount of yeah, like you said, Aquaman comes out in a couple months, and the trailer was me. They've just kind of all the movies that have camp come out have just bombed because you kind of took everything, and now the the whole rumors of he's not Aquaman anymore. He's going to be Lobo in the <laughs> DCU. Yeah. It's just it's crazy to me because. The first Aquaman movie made over a billion. That's the highest grossing be crazy. DC movie. And you just totally destroyed that franchise. Like number two is going to bomb. Absolutely going to bomb. And the stuff that's come out of that, like the Amber Heard stuff. Did you guys hear about that? Um, yeah. That James Musk. Wan wanted her fired. Um, they oh. said no. The studio said no. Um, Jason Momoa wanted her fired. So she said that he showed up drunk. Um to set and dressed up as um, Jack Sparrow. Yeah. Um, like <laughs> that's crazy the, that's movie I want stuff. To see. Yeah, and then the Elon Musk <laughs> said, um, said, if you guys get rid of her, then, you know, there'll be a lawsuit or whatever yeah, yeah. and all this kind of stuff. So um, crazy stuff that you just think Aquaman is Aquaman 2 is just going to bomb so hard. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's gonna be a mess. You know, the weird thing, though, that I kind of started realizing was that there's such a mess up for so long with, like, the DC universe that there's going to be this, like, group of kids who grow up who's going to be like, who's Batman? You know what I mean? Like, there's going to be a stint where they're like... And I'll tell them Ben Affleck is Batman. Yeah, that's great. You know, go for (laughs) it. But honestly, seriously, I like, they're just not producing things. Like, there's going to be a gap where it's like, yeah, I don't know, Batman's... Those, those bad movies, you know, or whatever, yeah. or yeah. whatever, or yeah. or the messed up, the knockoff Marvel. Well, it's absolutely, especially it's absolutely insane because if they would have just gone with 
the Snyder stuff would have been over and they would have yeah, done their reboot yeah. and someone else would have taken like that would have been, it would have been done. And it's just, it's crazy. There's the a amount lot, of stuff that they There's a lot of people to up. blame for that. Jeez. What a mess. Yeah. What a mess and a half, but crazy. Yeah. That's crazy news. Yeah. I heard about the Amber Heard stuff. I was like, <laughs> what? Yeah, I wonder how much he's in the movie. Oh my gosh! Probably not very know. much. Probably not. A couple scenes. Jeez, yeah. Boys, what a mess. Yeah, it's nuts. Um, what else is there? I feel like there's something else I want to talk to you guys about, but I don't remember now. Is there anything you guys oh, had? Jerk. <laughs> they just saw that that Minecraft update. Oh, they're that's gonna right. put like a Jedi adventure in Minecraft, which I thought was pretty cool. Um, but yeah, I can't yeah, remember. the Jedi Temple on Coruscant looks sick. Yeah. And they have General Grievous and like yeah, yeah, Grievous, yeah, yeah, and then like they go to the I think I assume it was Ilum, um, where you're going to get the Kyber crystals, but they're like you know a square planet instead of it's like that's pretty tight. That look cool. I mean, if you play like Minecraft with your kids or whatever, or still play Minecraft, check it out because I think it looks really cool. Um, I can't remember what it's called. Oh, that's the thing. Um, Yeah, it looks really dope. I'm looking for something here because. It's the Lord of the Rings um, oh. Gollum game. Oh, what about oh, it? Yeah. Did you guys hear about that? That the um, the studio put out an apology. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And then the we apology was uh, people were like, oh, they put the apology Chat out GPT. on Jet- Chat GPT. Yeah. So there's this big uproar about <laughs> that. I was like, man, even when you apologize, you do it wrong. <laughs> yeah. Don't be an idiot when you apologize. How about that? It's crazy. Yeah, and it's like, well, maybe they should have asked Chat GPT for coding on their game because their yeah. game is trash. <laughs> Holy crap. Uh, I remember watching someone streaming and I was just like, yeah, Holy that's nuts. moly. Well, they were supposed to work on another Lord of the Rings game. And Not I, anymore. that studio is absolutely done for. Like, Oh, yeah. Dude, the more I thought about that Hobbit game, I'm like, you know what? I'd play it. Little like uh, yeah, dude. Farm, what's it called? Farming, farming, farm some old Toby, dude. Yeah. We don't know. We don't know what that's what it is, but that's I just what, can't hey. wait for like the carnival where they're like celebrating uh, Bilbo's. What was it? His hundred eleventh birthday. Yeah, where they have the dragon firework gone. Come on, it's gonna be dope. Are you kidding me? It sounds that's awesome. Be and the music yeah, will be so sure, good, bro. Yeah, sure. And then you can cook up some lambas bread. <laughs> lambas bread, <laughs> dude. Come on, that I've, it better be the game. Better be like that. They uh, an Animal Crossing kind of thing, dude. Uh, Stardew Valley. Yeah, their update they're doing. They have a big update, and also they have, which is crazy because one guy made all this music, but they have an orchestra going around doing a oh, tour, and doing all the music. They're going to Seattle, bro. It's so sick. Is Crystal going? Because she has the CD, right? She listens she to listens it. Listens to it all the time. <laughs> it's actually pretty good, dude. Uh, no, I think the I music's great. It's very calming music. Yeah, it is very calming music. If I ever need to re- re- relax at my computer, yeah, that's right. Get that, it's uh, part of my mix. Hey, we should head over to Seattle to do the Stardew Valley. I'll dress <laughs> up as my character. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds good. Some overalls. Yeah, that'd be sick, dude. Uh, what was the other? Oh, um, oh yeah, PlayStation Five. Yeah, so the PlayStation Five, they're coming out with a slim version, which is pretty been pretty standard oh, yeah. for the last couple consoles. As mid cycle, you get a skinnier version. Yeah. Uh, no updates on graphics or anything like that. Yeah. I think this uh, the memory I think is one terabyte. No, no, no. Whoa, it's pretty good. If it is five hundred, five hundred gigs. Don't be wrong. Gigs? It was eight eighty five. Don't be for some wrong. reason. Don't be wrong. Yeah, the <laughs> PS five right now what? is eight eighty five for some reason. What? So they were like, the next one's gonna be a terabyte. Oh, that's so weird. So, uh, but yeah, nothing like actual <laughs> updates as far as like. Uh, um, how it works or better graphics or better process or anything nice. like that. It's just smaller. Oh, there was a big, um, yeah, that is interesting. Is it going to be the same price? Do you know, uh, same price, except for, I think the digital version is $50 more. <laughs> what? It's slimmer. So, it should be cheaper. So what they're saying Wait, is it has a bigger hard drive. Uh, um, maybe that's why, okay. but, uh, I think it, that makes no sense. I, they're either the same price or $50 more. Okay. But what they're saying is, like, obviously, um, once the old stock runs out, all you're going to be able to do is get mm-hmm. the, I did hear the new stuff out. So, Oh, um, I saw, and I'm just remembering this right now, actually, Microsoft is going to obtain Activision. Yep. And with Activision, that comes Blizzard as well. 
So they're becoming an ultimate <laughs> Omega. Yeah, but they've Omega said that. Company. Is Power it finally range. going official, through? Man. Because it's, it's it's in, important everything. in Europe, yeah. they were like, no, you can't do this. Yep. Yeah, it's it actually now. went through. Okay, there you go. That was this last weekend. This last week when that happened. Maybe they'll buy DC. <laughs> I don't think you want. It'll be Xbox exclusive. I don't think you want. You can only watch it on Xbox consoles. Uh, um, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's yeah. crazy. It's yeah, it is kind of crazy how these all these big companies are kind of just absorbing yeah. everyone. Not Nintendo. Yeah. Hey. I mean, they Dude, might rumors are rumors are next year for the Switch Two or whatever you want. to call Yeah, it. Um, and they're gonna have. They're saying that they're gonna be two at launch. So. Uh, Oh. Um, $50 difference. Because, you know, they've done the yeah. the Switch the Lite and then the Switch... Um, what's the other one called? Um, Switch. Like the console version, but like... Well, the newest... the oh, What's it called? LED? Oh, LED. Oh, LED. Yeah. yeah. So they're saying that they're going to have two different ones at launch. One's going to be digital and one's going to be... They actually put games in it. Yeah. With a $50 difference. So... Yeah. I'm get... curious to see what it's what it's going to look like. Triangle. Pro, pro tip, if you guys were thinking of getting the red switch, don't do it. Just wait till next year. It, it, it's cr- That's crazy Nintendo that they're selling a brand new... All the time. I think what they do is they reskin all their old inventory to be <laughs> a new thing, and they just paint it hey, red. I mean, I got the Breath of the, I got the Breath of the Wild 2 one. And I don't... I mean, yeah. there's nothing n- new except for it's... Is it OLED? Well, it was OLED, yeah. But that's... They already had OLED yeah. before that. I think they're just reskinning these old yeah. consoles well, I mean, to try to get rid of their old it uh, might be. inventory, which is smart. Super so smart. You guys know Jacob Weaver. He's yeah. um, he uh, a friend of ours. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He Thank just you. got the the Mario the the, yeah, red, the red switch. One. Um, oh, yeah, but yeah. he so he collects um, old video games and all that stuff, and he's like big Pokemon. I think cards. he 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 trades Pokemon cards and does all the stuff, and he um, like I'm. On, he opens them and stuff like that on on film and every on video and everything <laughs> on film <laughs> on film Christopher Nolan watches his stuff because cool. only on it's on IMAX, on IMAX. yeah um, no but he was saying that he got one and I think he traded for it like traded something for okay. that and th- he's like the reason I did that is because for something like that the price will go up yeah. in the future. Oh yeah. Limited. So editions. he's like, if yeah. it's a limited edition thing, he's like, you'll make your money back 100%. on something like that. If oh, yeah. it ever goes into, so I mean, if maybe there's, you want to buy it for that. Oh, I agree. Yeah. I should have kept my Wii U. Yeah. You should have. Why didn't you? I don't know. Was because I limited I, edition. No, but no. the Wii U is, is going to be like one of those consoles got, that's hard to find. I've got all my consoles, all my Nintendo consoles. I still have. I still hard. got my Wii U right in there. I got all of them from NES all the way up. Yeah, I sold mine for to get the switch. Oh, you traded it in. Uh-huh. So they're like, yeah. "Here's a nickel, thanks." <laughs> no, they gave me that like hundred and something for it. Yeah, when you're poor, good. you got to do what you got to do. You, you got to do what you got to do. <laughs> yeah, you got to dig into the couches. Yeah, you got to get exactly. all the coins. Get on them coins. And you got to sell the Wii U because that was not the best one. I liked it. I like the game where you, you know, the chubby chasers. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Chubby Chasers? That's not what it was called. That's not what it was called. But there was five that's people. That's there was them. five players. And it's like Chubby Chasers. Because you got chubby. Oh, you, did you? you? It, it, was, uh, it was Animal Crossing characters. Oh. Yeah. And you had the two people that would have you to get candies. Yeah. The candy. Oh, yeah, yeah. That and was a game mode. And then yeah. the person would chase. Like, you would you would control one person with one yeah. joystick and another, and you had to Chase the chubby Chase guys. Chase the chubbies. They call yeah, the chubby, chubby chasers. <laughs> Chase the chubby. Hey, that's a, that's a, you that still got that? Game. Yeah, dude. Hey, we got to pull that out sometime and just play some, of, some of those games. Game. That was just like the base uh, Wii U yeah. game. Because you had the Mario where you also had to hide. and That yeah. that game? Classic. Yeah. Those games were super that's fun. That's such a good game. Or the one you had the flashlights and you had to get to the ghost. Yeah. It's yeah. good. Good stuff. Great console. Back when Nintendo bad was mar- creative. Bad marketing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Bad marketing. I would, I would, no one even it. knew. I remember when we waited in line for it, people were like, What are you waiting in line for? We're like, The Wii U. And they're like, What? Oh, that's the Wii U. What's that? <laughs> Wii U. Wii U. Yeah. yeah. Uh, good Dude, that's hey. what they'll never rename the next console after the original. Switch U. Yeah, they're not going to do that yeah. ever again. What is it going to be called, guys? What do we think it's going to be called? The next <laughs> Nintendo. I think we already talked about this. Hey. Switch U. Uh, <laughs> yeah, the, the I, don't know, I don't know if we talked on on the podcast. <laughs> I think we did. Yeah, I think we might did we? Yeah. Oh, okay. We recycled jokes. Switcheroo. 
Yeah. I don't know. I would assume they might just go with Switch 2. No? Or I feel they... like Switch 2 makes, like, that's not confusing as far as, like, you know it's the second one. Whereas Wii U was like, is is it an add-on for the Wii? Yeah. Or is it a brand new console? That was the right. huge confusion. Yeah, Because I feel like they're going to keep their Joy-Con stuff. Like, the idea of, like, switching. Yeah. But I don't know. I guess that aspect, though, <laughs> you maybe you do want to distinguish it from the Switch. I think they do. So it'll be called the... It's going to be called YouTube. It's like switch, switch in, or it's just like Wii U and 2. U2, like U, the letter, and then T-O-O. Maybe. We'll see. We'll find YouTubes. out. YouTubes. Wait, YouTube. <laughs> yeah, it should be called YouTube. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I'm excited to see what they, they come up with. Next though. year. It's going to be It'll Pyramid. Be that's what my friend that, said. That's what I said. You're my friend. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't sure if it was Jenna or not. It was. I said it was going to be like it's a pyramid. pyramid. It's going to be a th- gonna be, yeah. <laughs> That's what it's going to be called. It is, yeah. A Lumi. That's right. Um, one last thing before we go. Did you guys see the trailer for the new Godzilla Oh, stuff? I didn't watch it. Looks really good. It's on Apple TV. It's like a, a series. A series. Yeah, and yeah. Like Kurt series. Russell and his son. Holy smoke! Play the same character. Hey, what? I was shocked. I was shocked at how good this looks. Really? Absolutely What's shocked. It called? Uh, Mo- Monarch. Oh, uh, I saw. I saw yeah. an ad for it. I didn't yeah. see the trailer. Monarch something. Yeah, but it looks really good. And hey, I'll say this: the CGI looks awesome. I thought it was a movie, and then when it was like, "Oh, it's a series," I was like, "What?" Wow! And um, oh, wow, wow. one of the guys, <laughs> amazing. One of the guys Apple's on, got money, dude. That's throwing that's it, what I'm saying. Yeah, dude, throwing dude. it at Messi, throwing it at Monarch. Exactly. Hey. Um, but there's a guy. Oh man, I can't remember his YouTube channel. Um. Um. Anyways, Geeks, he, are, Geeks are us. No theory. Dude, um, it's, not. Does it really matter? He, he goes, uh, yeah, because I, I mean, he's a, he's a popular guy. Give him guy. the credit. Give he, him the credit. He, I don't remember his name he's though. A, but on. you know, he's the guy that goes. You guys probably seen him. He goes, theory time, theory time, theory time. Oh, no? you're talking, you're talking about, uh, <laughs> yeah. Uh, he, uh, <laughs> come on, his name. You got it. <laughs> I love that guy. He's funny. Yeah, he's good. He's pretty funny. Dang it. Uh, I, I have. Uh, uh, anyways, so he, apparently he got to watch like the first two episodes or three episodes, okay. and so he he tweeted about. It, he says. It's really, he's like, the monster stuff is what you want to go watch the, like, Godzilla movies for. Okay. And he's like, that's great. He's like, but the human characters, they're not just doing stupid things. He's like, you actually like what they're yeah. doing. He's like, so it's really good. That's good. So it's and not so, like Transformers. Where, right. Or even the yeah. last Godzilla movies where it's like, you don't care about right. the human characters. You just want right. to, and it's like, he's like, they're actually not being stupid and they actually have a interesting storyline. So I was like, okay, that's surprising. That's cool. <laughs> so I was, uh, I was shocked about how good it looked and got me excited for it. Yeah. Take okay, my so money. Apple the, TV. The hey. YouTube channel you're thinking of is heavy spoilers. Heavy spoilers. Oh, okay. Yeah. I know. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. TV time. TV time. TV time. TV time. TV time. It's pretty funny. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the thing I was going to say, I don't know what she said, but it reminded me toys R us. Coming Famously back, coming back. Famously out of business, got out of here many moons ago. Uh, yeah, next year they're looking at 2024. They're ha- they're bringing 24 flagship uh, stores back to the United States. Anyone in Spokane? No, I don't. Not know. A chance. Probably not. It's probably because <laughs> they had some good Legos. They had some good Legos. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why I said it that way. <laughs> they, they, didn't didn't have, they didn't have good Legos. They had Legos that were discounted because nothing bought them there. Well, that is true. But they had <laughs> they Legos. had a bigger selection. You go to some stores yeah, and you're like, oh. bro. And they're opening a Lego store downtown. That's what I was going to say. <laughs> downtown. I might work there. Job the there I, for the discount. I, I wish you did. For the discount. So for the discount. Oh, that'd be awesome. I might have to do it. Go I have four, I I have four jobs job now. Lego corporate somehow. Show me your Omega Builder, dude. Hey, I keep I keep tweeting out Lego and being like, "Hey, check our channel out." We don't do Lego anything. <laughs> we will. Uh, our whole check background is Legos. Out. Look at that. What do you want us to do? Lego Legos. Stuff. Hey, check and we've out. done videos with where we build Legos, like Rivendell and yeah, Josh did, did his castle. castle, the Lions Castle. Yeah, yeah. Did we actually post those? <laughs> yeah, okay. not very many views. Yeah, 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 it's okay though. Hey, it's out there. They'll see it. Yeah, maybe. Yeah. 
So next episode, we're doing a live stream building of the Whoop. Millennium Falcon. No one gets to go to the bathroom <laughs> or to sleep until it is built. It's going to take us around 20 hours. Who's buying the Millennium Falcon? <laughs> we're we all buying the Venator. <laughs> oh. What did you say? We used to say we should get the Venator. It's like the giant Star, uh, Destroyer. Star Destroyer from uh, the Clone Wars. From the Clone Wars. It's 800 bucks, right? No, it's 650 It's cheap. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it's cheap, baby. How much is a PS5 again? Uh, 500. Hey, Jeez. that was, that was my decision. PS five or Rivendell. He chose it was the same. Life. And it was the same price. 499. Oh my God. And I chose uh Rivendell. And how many hours of fun did you get from Rivendell? <laughs> A lot. But oh. Hey, I just go into the room and oh I look and, and I put on the, the music. <laughs> and then and you I get a little like, Frodo and you're like, oh. Oh. And I just move them around. I dust it. <laughs> That's the worst part of it. Like, you got to dust Yeah, you got to dust those. Oh hey, my but, gosh. Hey, pro tip. Any of you Lego oh. people out there, you go to Lowe's or Home Depot yeah. and you get the samples, carpet samples. Those things are money to clean yeah. Legos. Magic. You get a shaggy one oh. and you just go. It doesn't. There's one right behind you, bro. Look at that. Oh, my gosh. She has one right there. Oh, my word. Look at this. Boom. This is what it is. Home Depot. You just go get <laughs> show, it. This show, is, show a, it. Show this is a Gallup Maverick. <laughs> Look at this. You just go it over the Legos. Or then if you needed to get into certain spots, you know, you just bend oh. it. Ooh, it goes through those Lego. Ooh. A little like and it uh, doesn't scratch them. Studs. It doesn't, doesn't scratch them. Wow. Great. For years, I used a toothbrush that was like soft one. Yeah. Scratches your Legos. Yeah. No good. I use my wife's makeup brushes. Not good enough. I use canned, these things. I use sand air. Pro tip, and this is free. Expensive, free. I have. A you just go get samples, bro. Just go get samples at Home Depot and Lowe's. That's I got good. like thirty of them. <laughs> They're like, oh, you guys are doing carpets? No, I'm just cleaning my Legos. <laughs> 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 that's how it's hey, done. That's a pro tip. Pro and tip. Make sure to follow our TikTok. That's right. That little <laughs> clip's gonna be up there. <laughs> hey, that wouldn't be a bad that idea. That's a great idea. You want to know a pro tip how to keep your Legos nice yeah, and shiny? Exactly. Hashtag Lego ambassadors. Yeah. <laughs> um, We're going to start switching our co- <laughs> our content to yeah. Legos. Only Legos. There's plenty of Legos here. I and say Lego reviews. I say we bust them up and see if you can rebuild them. Oof. I say we bust Jones up. No. <laughs> no. We already had our Harry Potter Legos <gasps> get busted up and I'm going through and being like, uh, I don't know this because I don't do Harry Potter Legos. My wife's job. I don't like Harry Potter. There's the same bricks. No, 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 no it's no, not no, as no, fun. No, no, no. Whoa, I don't know. I don't do know. This. I'm like, where's this tree from? Is this from Gryffindor's tower? Is this from the hospital wing? Or is this from whatever other place? Hagrid Shack. Hagrid Shack. The only one that has a tree is the troll one. <sighs> That's where the tree. Oh, no, the Christmas tree one. What's the Christmas tree set? Christmas. With a dance. They have a dance. Oh, the winter ball. Yeah. yeah. So okay. that one has a tree that has in no, its side of it. That's a Christmas tree. And then I think it goes, it's pretty obvious which one it goes with. <laughs> yeah, but they're all, bra- but okay. Tree this listen, to. listen to this though. <laughs> Maybe they're we all are. the same. Maybe we are, we are they're all the Lego same color content. bricks. And there's like 10 of the sets that are all part of this Hogwarts, right? Yeah. And so yeah. they all got broken. Yeah. So there's the same brown pieces that are wall pieces yeah. for you to be like, oh, where does, oh, there's like, Ten oh, sets in here. You look at the instructions and you build one at a time. All the pieces are the same. Yeah, but you, you have all the pieces. Yeah, but you want to not have to build them all. You want to be like, oh, there's a big piece. Let me just add it to here. But they're all in a big. Do you know what I'm saying? I want to just try to make it easier and be like, let me put this back together instead the, of like going back. The amount of time that you're taking to try and fit them together, it's way faster just to build from scratch. Wow. Dang, and like, you get to enjoy hashtag it again. Lego. Sna- Lego. <laughs> I was going to say snacks. <laughs> Hashtag Lego snacks. <laughs> Lego tips. Hey, that sounds dope, yeah. dude. You get to build your snacks, dude. <laughs> That's awesome. That wouldn't be too Gummy bad. Legos or they're something bad, like that? They're no. bad going down. Though. Hey, that, that would be a good idea. Lego snacks, a, dude. I know why they don't do it. <laughs> gummy like snacks gummy so you snacks. can just yeah, make yeah. something. They're going to be like, mm, gummies. And yeah, eat yeah, these yeah. And then no, die. you may obviously make them look like and gummy small, bears. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. You yeah. make them look like gummy bears <laughs> yeah. and then you just stack them. Bro. Okay, okay. Like stack a red one with a blue one and it gets a different flavor. You want to be able to stack them. Unlike gummy bears that have different colors, but they all taste the same. 
Whoa. Gummy bears don't all taste the same. They all Whoa. taste pretty much the same. He's claiming the white gummy bear. Fruit Loops is what you're thinking of. Oh, yeah. Fruit Loops all taste the same. Well, that is that true. That is true. Gummy bears taste different. Yeah. Not, Di- not different juice. Not yeah, like real, the white, what not like, real. Not like in a way that you oh. can really be like, oh. Yes, you can. Yeah, you can. The okay, red so one versus okay, the okay, white okay, one, okay, that's okay, an okay. apple. Okay, 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 okay. If I blindfold you next week, if I blindfold you guys... <laughs> And give you a gummy bear. You're going to know what run. flavor. It has, be, it has to be Black Forest. Yes. 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 <laughs> oh, yes. oh, now you're making Black it. Forest. No, okay. 100% juice, okay. baby. Yes, I agree with <laughs> See, that. now this you're changing a, it. Black, no, it's not. They're gummy bears. Yeah, man. No, you're saying a certain brand of gummy bears well, has different flavors. Because he's what he's used to. Because that's what he's what, used to. This is a Black Forest house. Yeah. Oh, my God. See, now you're changing it. Now you're yeah. saying fruits. It's like, yeah. Well, he doesn't eat trash gummy bears. That's right. Okay, only the I best. I pay for the premium. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Streamo. Straight from the, straight from the forest. <laughs> okay. He wants those gummy bears. He wants those bears off the trees. Well, maybe I'll get some Black Forest and see right. if you can do it. <laughs> Sounds good. So what do you think you could do accuracy-wise? Yeah. He, how he many colors? Are, how many flavors? <laughs> what? 50. Then, then, <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm saying. Then, my, I'm then, saying 50%. I'm sorry. then that's my whole point I said. I said well, no, they no, have no, different no, no, flavors. No, no. You said no, they all okay. taste the same. Okay. 50% is not. Okay, yeah. okay, okay, okay. I said they all taste the same. And then you said a certain brand has different flavors. And I said what I said was not something that's like a big difference. Dude, like they still I taste sure like pretty I'm gonna close. Find gummy bears and I'm going to ha- eat them every day. Just to train your red. <laughs> yeah. Train your palate. Mm, red. Mm, white. <laughs> For the whole week. And you can't smell. Week. Can't smell them. What? That's part of taste. No, it's not. That's yes, smell. It no, That's it's not part, part of taste. Did you know that 70% of taste is smell? Well, I, we're talking taste test that's here. Why, you plug my nose Jonah, like, that's no why way. when you're I'm eating not, something not gross, letting, yeah. you plug your nose. I'm not letting you smell it before you eat it. Why? You're just going in. That's like I want you to use your natural like smell in there, mouth smell, the connection there. Yeah, this is well, crazy. jokes on you because I'm gonna swirl it around in my mouth. <laughs> well, you can do and that, and then it, I'm gonna smell it, in there. and then I'm gonna smell it, <laughs> <laughs> and then I'll put it back in. Yeah, you can't. That's not the rules. Right. Are you tying our hands behind yeah, your back? Yeah, that's too? what I'm Jeez doing. Louise. Yeah, Out of I might way. even connect two gummy bears, bite the head off. Of a red one, put it oh, with a dude. white, and you're, see. And you're gonna make them <laughs> eat something to eat big. Yeah, dude. sure. And then be oh, like, man. oh, you know, you just stick it back. That's Frankenstein gummies. And you better hope you got both of us blindfolded <laughs> and tied. Franken gummies. <laughs> that was strong. Anyways, uh, I think we're done. <laughs> uh, that's gonna do. That's it gonna do show. it for this episode of the New Age Podcast. <laughs> Thanks so much for hanging out with us. We'll be back next week. With more random Who knows? nerd age we stuff, we'll see. Them, we'll see what happens. We could, yeah. You know, it would be awesome. Thanks so much for hanging out with us. We'll see y'all next week. See ya. See ya.